Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at percent increase and percent decrease. We've all heard people talk about how things increase or decrease, go up and down, like the price of gas, the price of milk, things like that. So again, we always start with our is over our of, with our percents over 100. We're going to continue to use that setup. In February, Roger spent 30 hours watching Netflix. In March, he only spent 22.8 hours watching. What was the percent decrease in the amount of time he spent watching? So, it's a percent problem. I immediately set up what I know I need to do for every percent problem. Two fraction bars set equal to one another with 100 on the bottom of one of them. Okay? So, Roger spent 30 hours. That's my original, or my total, the whole thing for what I originally was doing. Then, in March, he only spent 22.8 hours. Okay? So, they want to know what the percent decrease is. So, let's get our calculators out and type in. 22.8 times 100 divided by 30. And you get 76. But I don't want 76 as my answer. It asked me how much it decreased. And if I go from 100 to 76, how much did I d go down by? Well, I have to know what 100 minus 76 is, and that's 24. So my answer is that his watching went down by 24%. I hope that makes sense. He went down 24%, and we use an arrow pointing down like this to show that we mean percent decrease. So the amount of time that Roger spent, he was spending 100% or 30 hours. It goes down to 76%, so it decreased by 24%. Let's look at an increase and what happens there. In February, Lana got a puppy that weighed 13 kilograms. In October, the puppy weighed 17.16 kilograms. What was the percent of the puppy's weight increase? <clears throat> Again, I see that it's a percent problem, so I'm immediately going to set up my proportion that I know I'm going to use. The puppy's original weight is 13. 13 represents his original weight or 100% of his weight. And then his weight changes... And the new change is 17.6. Okay, And I can see that it's going to go up because 13 goes up. So this number here, if I type it in correctly, will be more than 100. So let's type that in and see what we get. 17.16 times 100 divided by 13. So I get 132 here. Okay. So the puppy's new weight isn't 132%. The puppy's weight of increase, if I go from 100 to 132, I have increased it by 32%. So I'm going to show that with 32% increase. I'm going to have a little arrow that points up to indicate that it was an increase in weight, not a decrease in weight. Another example is if your allowance was $13 and your parents said, I'm going to increase your allowance to $17.16 or $17.16, that means that they increased your allowance by 32%. So we're going to uh, give the rest of the problems a shot and hopefully you can finish those by tomorrow.